All right, YouTube, we're gonna take a look at this clutch assembly by LG. It was in this washing machine for about five years. I'll give you the part number. Part number is right there. And so it did a fairly good job. Now we get this problem a lot on LG. Same thing. Sounds like metal grinding against metal. So when we take a look at it, even though this is plastic, we see that the, the actual clutch, this gear case and clutch, they call it clutch assembly, but it's a gear case and clutch. And they all come as one pack. And so basically you got your, your clutch actuator that's right here, and when it pulls it in, it activates it into, into spin. There's agitate. See, it doesn't engage, engages, so it spins the whole barrel. It doesn't engage. This thing's, see if you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear the bearings in it. They're all rusted up, real bad looking. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's all rusted in there. We're going to take it apart and really take a look at it. But the actual clutch itself is in great condition. I mean, I don't, I've only seen one or two of these actually broken. Uh, so the failure rate on them is really low compared to the failure rate on the whole gear case. Especially the bearing the seal. Actually, the water was leaking from the bottom. So the seal itself was bad in the bottom of the, in the gear case. So. Turn this over, you can actually see the bottom side. I mean, it's just solid plastic. It may have some metal reinforcement. Let me see. You know, I don't think it does have metal reinforcement in there. No, no, it's just solid plastic. I, I don't know what type of plastic. I'm not a plastic expert. I'm not a metal expert. I, I can't even tell you what kind of metal this thing's made out of. I mean, I don't know the gauges or the different stuff or none of that. But I am pretty good at working on them. So there's your spring. Now you can really see how corroded it is. So I thought I was going to be able to get a tool on that, but I can't because it's so bad. I can pull all that out. I'm going to have to take a look at that and see if we can. Let's take this apart here. Let's see if we can separate it and actually look inside of it. it may have oil, it may not have oil. I mean, the old ones back in the day had oil. Okay, that doesn't have to come out. It should just. Pressed in there. It's like I'm gonna have to put a curveball on it. Not sliding off. Oh. Oh, maybe. Look at it sliding down through the bottom right there. Let's see here. Got a little tensioner spring. Look at that. Let's pull the seal off. Let's take the little spring off and hold that seal down. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's get that seal off of there. I mean, I can't believe that little spring was holding that firm. It's probably what was leaking. 
Well, it's five years old too, so. I can't fault a gear case if it fails after five years. Five years old or older. Excuse me. It's not a gear case at all. It is just a shaft assembly centered between one bearing there and one bearing here. That is it. I wonder why they couldn't pay us to um, just put another tub seal and new bearings in it. You can definitely hear it but this the shaft so what if there's a gearing or something inside the shaft hold on a second let's, let's pull this off we're gonna pull that little pin out you know i have a tool for that to do this the retaining pin or clip or whatever you want to call it but this one's so rusted like it comes apart yeah it does yeah it does there we go that's because that bearing looked good and this one looked pretty decent but we're leaking through the middle because it had water coming out so it's got to be from interior this they don't come out that way oh look at that it sure is look at there the bearings that are into the the wash it won't even turn it you're supposed to get some kind of action but you see the bearings right there, move my finger, all screwed up. That's what we were here. Let's see if we can take them out and we can see if it'll, it'll pull all the bearings out of it. So the failure was not in the actual bearing the shaft rode on, but the shaft has a gearing system and the failure was inside the shaft where the gearing system is. And so what this what this assembly does is when that clutch engages then it spins the whole it spins the whole shaft but when the clutch is not engaged and it's in the agitate mode the motor spins this part right here and it spins that internal shaft up here instead of spinning the larger shaft and that's what gives it the agitate motion and the motor oscillates back and forth it's a dc motor rotor stator set up hold on a second let's see if we get it out Well, it didn't come out that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it loose in there? Yeah, it's coming out. Through. It doesn't look like it's pulling through, but it is coming out. All right. Must have been pressed in there. Fairly good. No, no, it's it's a. Now you, now you can see it. Now you can see it moving. I don't freed it up. Just like it should. Back and forth agitating like that. I want to take a look at it. 
Might not be able to, but we'll see. That thing ain't coming out. Well, I wonder if I can beat the whole shaft out. Ah! Sure, he <laughs> all came loose then. All right, gentlemen. What? Ah! Oh, look at their sleeve. So we got the interior of it. And then we have this one. And so, yeah, that bearing's good. That's a good bearing. So the bearing that was in the bottom, on the rotor stator side, not on the borscht plate side, or pulsar, whatever they want to call it, uh, went bad. And that caused the whole thing not to work. This uh, gear case, I buy them for $51 uh, from one vendor and 108 from another vendor. And so I try to keep one on hand at all times. If I don't have to go local, and the local course is always more, it's $108. But if I can order it in from my national supplier, I can get a much better discount. So that is it. That's how it works. It's basically just a shaft inside of a shaft that has a real crappy bearing. And the other two big main bearings were good. The bearing they they should have spent a little bit more money on didn't save the money was the interior bearing but i guess they kind of figured maybe the exterior bearings we were going to go out first but they didn't and they the tub seal didn't go out the actual seal there was a seal that was internally in here and it was leaking through the shaft as you can see the inside of the shaft i don't know if you can see it or not it is just solid rusted out i mean it's not rusted out out it's just full of rust though so you can tell it's been leaking it shouldn't rust like that all right guys subscribe and like